Senator Rice. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development, Senator Johnston. In the light of the Victorian election result, an election which the Prime Minister Tony Abbott labelled a referendum on the East-West Link, will the Minister acknowledge that his government lost the referendum and that the people of Victoria overwhelmingly voted for investment in public transport not massive polluting new tollways. The Minister for Defence representing the Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development, Senator Johnson. Well, Senator Rice, thank you for that question. Let me begin by saying the two are not mutually exclusive. Now, what are you let's, in favour let's, of it? Let's, let's talk about East West Link. Order. Uh, last week, I indicated that this government is spending on infrastructure to 2019-20 some $50 billion around Australia. Uh, we are spending $7.6 billion in Victoria alone. Look, it is very disappointing that the new Victorian government is looking at backing out of the commitment for us to fund about $3 billion to the east-west link. Uh, it will have that program will have a significant impact upon the Victorian economy, but more particularly on local jobs. And about uh, 6,700 local Senator jobs are involved. Uh, Senator Cameron. Uh, Senator Cameron. About 6,700 local jobs are involved with this program. Right. Now, what the government wants to do is work with the new Premier in Victoria to see if there is a way forward such that we can uh, uh, provide this uh, important policy initiative to the people of Victoria. And I explained in great detail some of the time uh, ab abbreviations that this project, were it to be delivered, will, will benefit to, uh, to various parts of Melbourne. So the, the, uh, the six-kilometre six link. Uh, uh, connecting the Eastern Freeway at Clifton Hill to CityLink, um, is, 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 uh, including a 4.4-kilometre twin tunnels, saves an enormous amount of time for people uh, travelling around Melbourne. Um, similarly, the 12-kilometre link between Appleton Dock and the Port of Melbourne um, to the Western Ring Road at Sunshine West provides similar convenience. Now, the money has been put on the table for very good reason, Thank you, and Minister, we shouldn't the discount time it. For answering the question has expired. A supplementary question, Senator Rice. I remind the minister of the outcome of the election or referendum, and that people overwhelmingly voted for public transport, not the East West Link. So, will the government reallocate the three billion dollars committed to East West Link to infrastructure projects that Victorians really want, namely public transport projects? Or will the federal government order? Or will the federal government cut Victorians loose and take back the funding? Minister. Well, look, I can only say, Senator, that the program, as I've outlined, is such a big and positively beneficial program that you would have to, under any assessment of public transport, given that there will be many buses and taxis using this connection. You'd have to say this makes a huge contribution to public transport in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't think 6,700 jobs should be scoffed at. That's yeah, right. yeah. I think this is important for Victoria, <laughs> and we will work with the new Premier to Order see if we moment. can deliver it. Yeah. Senator uh, Rice, a final supplementary question. I draw the Minister's attention to a recent report by the Tourism and Transport Forum on the economic return of investment in public transport where they outlined the increased economic growth in areas of Sydney, which benefited from the development of the Epping Chatswood Rail Link compared with the rest of Sydney. Given these economic benefits and the jobs benefits, why won't the government redirect the $3 billion of funding to public transport projects in Victoria? Minister. Well, well, Senator, I think there is a fundamental false premise in your question. And when you talk of public transport, you seem to want to say that that is just about rail. This is not true. Buses and taxis use the roads. They are part of the public transport infrastructure. Now, the fact is I've explained to you why we like this project and are prepared to invest in it. It is fundamentally good for Victorians. Now, it's not mutually exclusive. States and Commonwealth can negotiate about rail 
or about air or about shipping and other methods of public transport. But the bottom line is this program, this program is a very, very good program and should be pursued in cooperation with the new government in Victoria. Yeah.